Thanks for joining us. Traveling on a plane might become more difficult starting in January if all you have is a Minnesota driver's license. Minnesota is one of four states yet to implement federal security measures. And as Delane Cleveland reports, some Minnesota lawmakers call the new law government overreach. Now serving. At the Hennepin County Service Center in Maple Grove, dozens are lined up to renew their driver's licenses. Only problem is that if they plan to travel domestically on a commercial aircraft in 2016, those IDs may not be enough to get them on the plane. That's because Minnesota is one of four states that has yet to implement the Federal Real ID Act of 2005. The White House and its administration has clubbed states into submission by threatening airline travel to be denied if you didn't get along with the program. State Senator Warren Limmer sponsored legislation in 2009 to block implementation of Real ID. And at the time, nearly every state lawmaker agreed, citing privacy concerns. It is designed to have an encrypted chip in the card and it's designed to hold a whole lot more information than just your driver information. But with a January 2016 deadline looming for states to comply, he's not backing off his stance. There are a lot of serious issues on the use of this card that I don't think has been well thought out and it will impact the security and privacy of every Minnesota citizen. Meanwhile, local travel agents are asking people not to panic. TSA is very travel centered. Um, they don't want to put any restrictions or anything on people with their vacations. They don't want to panic anybody or anything like that. In so, other words, she doesn't expect domestic travelers to be denied at the airport if all they have is a driver's license come January 1st. But travelers should still get a passport to be safe. Passport trumps everything. So it is it is the best way to travel. In the meantime, Warren Limmer thinks lawmakers will be able to make a compromise with the federal government. I think they'll probably it'll end up as a modification of what the real ID people in Washington really want. Meanwhile, Senator Limmer says he and other legislative leaders will meet with Homeland Security officials Tuesday afternoon to talk more about real ID and find out whether the federal government is softening its requirements. Mike. All right, Delane, thanks.